Are you a medical student about to start your 200 level? Then this video is definitely for you. And my name is Johnson Titus and I am from the 400 level class. Today I will be talking about some of the textbooks that you will need for your preclinical studies. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, drop your comment in the comment section below. Um, so you know that um, there are four courses, major courses that you will do in your preclinical studies. And these include anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, and community medicine. Now, anatomy is usually the, the ball case because it's subdivided into four again. We have embryology, histology, gross, and osteology. So now I would list some of the textbooks. Now there are so many textbooks in the market, so many textbooks of anatomy. But then in order not to confuse you, since you're about to start, I will tell you the textbook that suits you. You know, there are some certain textbooks that um, as a learner, you shouldn't be using. So there are some textbooks that you shouldn't use as a beginner. All right, so what are the textbooks that you should use as a beginner in anatomy? Yeah. So I listed some of the textbooks and I would like to go through it. So the first textbook on my list is Kate Moore, Grey's Anatomy, and Last Anatomy. Now, our advice is to go with Kate Moore. This is because Kate Moore is self-explanatory. Like, it gives, it simplifies every concept of anatomy for you with pictures, diagrams, and every, and even clinical correlation. You, once you use um, Kate Moore, I don't think it will be difficult for you to understand anatomy. So, I would advise you to read Kate Moore. So most people do not like it because it's quite voluminous and very big all right so but our advice as a starter start with kate moore or gray's anatomy i personally started with kate moore and i enjoyed it so i will not advise anybody to start with gray's though gray's is um gray's anatomy is like the standard is like what the textbook most lecturers do but if you think that you can go with the gray's maybe you read it and you understand then i would advise you to go by it then the last the other one is last anatomy now, I will not advise you to read Last Anatomy because Last Anatomy is compressed and um, they didn't explain it in a very simplified way. So, it will be important for people that have done, let's say you're in your third year, about to write your second MBBS exam, then that should be the time that you should read Last because Last is not so simplified. Alright, so this is for gross anatomy textbook. Now, let's go to embryology. embryology we have Human Embryology by Indebrisin and we also have human embryology by Vishram Singh. So our advice to, and also human embryology by Kate Moore. So I would advise you again, go with human embryology by Kate Moore. It's the same person that wrote the cross that also wrote the um, the um, embryology and it's also self-explanatory. You could just read through it and you will understand the concept of embryology. I also knew that at some point I read um, Embryology by Vishram and um, my name Indibrisin. All right, but for now, since you're just about starting, I would advise you just concentrate on Kate Moore for the gross anatomy. Then you will go with Kate Moore for human embryology. This is very important. It will help in assimilation for histology. Let's go for textbook for histology. We have human histology by Indibrisin, and we have human histology by Yogeshi also. So. I am not sure if I don't think Kitmo has human histology. So, but our advice is to study um, human histology by Indibu Singh. Now, I've made a video on the courses in medical school, and I will drop the link in the description box below. And again, all these textbooks that I'm mentioning, I will drop a link to my Telegram page where you will find all the textbooks there, all the textbooks I'm going to talk about today, and you will download and start reading right away so just click on check the description box below my telegram page will be there just click it it will take you to my telegram page where you download all these textbooks and start to read okay so the next one we have is um there are some textbooks that will help you during your practicals and again i have made also a video concerning that you know that in your preclinics you will be doing dissection starting from 200 level and dissection means you'll be cutting um dead humans or dead bodies now there are textbooks that will help you identify structures very very well 
and this textbook i will mention just two of them there are so many but just two of them will help you one Frank netta's atlas then the second one we have mcmean's atlas now these two textbooks have images of everything you will do in your dissection all the nerves the um veins muscles and everything attached in that textbook now the difference between these two textbooks that's the netlas from netlas and mcmean is that mcmean uses real images as live pictures but mcmean snaps cadavers and label it just the way you see inside the dissection hall meanwhile frank netlas um kind of drawings is drawing of pictures even though it will help you but mcmean will be more real to you so i personally enjoy mcmean because if you study mcmean in fact if you go to the dissection hall you would see as exactly the same way as it is inside your mcmean because it's life images that mcmean snap meanwhile um, frank netlas it's um pictures like drawings of anatomical structures and so so this textbook will help you again you can find the link to my telegram page where you will download those um pictures and those textbooks and be able to read them appropriately so the next one will be your physiology so now in physiology there are also so many textbooks so i will give you the basic one that you should use and i will give you advice on now all these textbooks that i just spoke about there's a soft copy i will advise you before you buy the hard copy now i personally did not use much of hard copy during preclinics so i will advise you to if you're that kind of person that prefers soft copy then you honestly don't need to buy any textbook except for the last I would advise you to try as much as possible, even if it's just one textbook that you buy, buy last anatomy, either the McMeans or the Frank Netlas. So coming to physiology, we have so many textbooks. One, Guyton and Hall. Now Guyton and Hall physiology is the gold standard textbook that they use in that department. It's what every lecturer uses. So I would advise you to study, go through the go, um, Guyton and study it. Most lecturers get their slide from there. Then, the other one we have essential um, physiology. Now, essential physiology. The difference between the two of them is that um, I prefer I re I read Guyton at the same time essential. Now, the difference between two of them is that Guyton did not make outlines for you. And again, in medical school, if you're to answer questions, especially AC, all you need to do is you must put an outline. So Guyton did not give an outline. So it's a bit confusing to be able to outline your work if you are reading or you are using Guyton alone. So my advice is that get both Guyton and Essential. Essential outlines all um, key points in a topic which makes it very easy for you if you're answering an exam or a test or any other thing. But then the lecturer prefers guiding to essential for so many other reasons. And again, there are some other textbooks, Constanzo, there's also um there are other textbooks, there's also Azilo. Now the Azilo textbook is written by was written by um a Nigerian man. So um it has most of the figures that will be in Azilo are uh, figures of African descent, like they are African figures they are not Caucasians figures so some lecturers prefer the values from Azilo while others do not then but then I would advise you check this textbook whichever one works for you download read when you see you're good with it before you make attempts to buy now there I know of so many of my mates that bought textbooks that they never used yes this is because they were not informed they just went into buying textbook because they wanted to buy or they had money to buy so but i would advise you go through the soft copy first if you study it very well you will like the topic and you are that kind of person that loves hard copies then you go and buy it now in biochemistry um so i would advise you do not buy any textbook in biochemistry except if you maybe want to buy or you someone gives you this is because most of the lecturers give slides and they ask questions strictly based on their slide and they barely ask essays that's for my school, for those in my school, University of Just. But then, have soft copy. And in soft copy, I would advise you, there are two textbooks I would advise you to go on. One is Essential Biochemistry. Just like Essential Physiology, this one gives you an outline too that makes it easier for you to outline your work in instances of test or exam. Then the other one, we have Leninger Biochemistry. I never used that one though. I'm just suggesting in case you try it, whichever one works for you. 
then for community meeting i did not use any test before community meeting and i'm not sure any of my mates did because they give their slide and they set questions based on their slide so do not bother to buy any hard copy materials for community medicine what i would advise you to do in anatomy is get one your um either your grace or kate more which i strongly advise you to go with kate more then coming to embryology you can also study kate more embryology and then histology you could go with vishram sim histology and then you get your front net last either hard copy or soft copy i would advise you to get both i would advise you to get both and then get mac means while you can get mac means for soft for hard copy then you alternate it with front net last soft copy and again there are also some things that you need during your steeple chase like your practicals one is your dissection kit this is very important you will not even be allowed to enter the dissection hall without the dissection kit so try and buy it it will help you in dissecting and also there's also corneums now corneums is a practical manual that guides you in every region every dissection you are to make again this is one of the prerequisites of entering the dissection hall so before you enter the hall, tell you to buy so just prepare your mind to buy Cunningham's manual depending on the region you are starting with which most likely will be the upper and lower limb so thank you guys if this video made some sense if this video was helpful to you please subscribe hit the like button drop your comment in the comment section below and don't forget to share do have a lovely day thank you